Hello everyone. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to use Corel Draw in 3D printing. So I found this image. Actually, I found a seller who's who's selling these 3D uh, printed keychains, and I was thinking, how would you uh, how would I use Corel Draw in creating this uh, 3D um, keychain or object? So if you really look closely, uh, each letter, um, like this, the M, D, L, and N has the same height, but the E, all the E's and the I here have the same height too, but it's um, not as tall as the, the M, D, L, and N. So in Corel Draw, we can do that. So I'm just gonna type in my name here. And uh, okay, I'm gonna choose a font. Let's say this font. And then here, if you take a look, you know, you're gonna you have to remove the spacing in between or make it really close to each other that intersects the letter because it has to intersect the letter so that it's one whole piece, right? So the best thing to do that is go to your shape tool. And then this one here, you click and then drag going in. I would say go in like that. And then just release and that's it, right? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on this here so I can make it gray. At the same time, I'll right mouse click on black here to create the outline so that I would know where it intersects. So this one looks good. Um, the only problem here is the letter I. I have to make a connecting, you know, a connecting shape so that it would, it would be included as a whole uh, object. But I'm gonna do that later. I'm just gonna move that away. So what else do we need here? So we need um, a circle. I click on the plus sign to duplicate and go like this and then I'm going to move it here let's just say it here that's for the, for the keychain okay so now now I'm good here now if you take a look here I need to put I have to make this um, a separate objects right every letter so I'm going to go to objects and then break Alexis apart because that's the name. So now it's uh, the, it I can you know individually pick one letter. Now the uh, I have to click on this one and then make this to front. You can go objects um, order to front of page. And this one was the front. Now this one I'll make it to back. So I go object because that it has to be alternated, right? order to back of page and then this one also should be to the back uh, order to back of page okay so now this a e and i is to the front and all these letters here like l x and s and the ring would be behind so now you go to your uh, smart tool tool and then you can specify any color, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to make that, that color. And then you click here, click, click. So basically it fills up the, you know, the, the object because that's what we need. Okay. So now we want to select only the smart field area. So you click on this first one and hold down shift and then click on the next letter, next letter, next letter. I'm holding down shift, okay? This one here and then this here. And then make sure to include this, the, the circle of the eye. And then I'm going to move it up, okay? Because this is what we need, not this one here. So now what we're going to do... I'm going to add one more piece here so that the letter I 
would be connected but then I have to smart fill this too, like that and remember I have to delete the to delete the original I mean the rectangular shape there right so if I go to view and click on wireframe see I have to delete this and leave that there okay so now if I go to uh, view enhance so this basically is ready for export to DXF so again it's going to be DXF so you highlight this and then you go to file export and then when you click on export you're going to just gonna put my name here Alex DXF okay DXF and it has to be selected only uh, DXF is on AutoCAD file and then export and then this one will show up just click OK okay so now we are going to sketch up uh, you know when you go to file and click on new new from template um, you go 3d printing this one here you go millimeters now what you do you can just delete this now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on file import and then I'm going to import the DXF file and then close so that's the one right so now I'm gonna double click on this because this is a component when it goes into SketchUp and then I'm gonna highlight this and then you go to extension um, this extension is really good because it makes faces it creates face for your letters so look it up um, S uh, S U F for you so uh, Google that and then you can get a license for that and then click on make face so once you make face like this you just delete this internal shape here delete that delete this and then now you are ready to push and pull so if I go click on push here and make sure to hold down control you have to make sure that the the plus sign is showing up see if I that one don't do uh, make sure to hold on control to see that um, that X there I mean the cross and now you can lift up like this now once you lift it up like this and then if you double click another surface or another face that will be the same height as the first one so I'm just gonna double click double click here and uh, I'm gonna double click the sorry this one here that's for that eye now don't forget to I'm just gonna exit that for now and then I'm going to orbit make sure this little thing is also extruded okay well before that what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the push pull again double click because that's a group uh, push pull and then make this one not as high as the first one okay so click here see that that's not as high like that and this one too and then make sure you include this too okay so push and pull and click like that okay now our model is complete now when you 3d print this it would look really nice okay so to export this you select everything and then you go to file and then click on export and click on 3d model and then you choose um, STL and then export let's just say no let's say yes that's it now you have a 3d modeled name thank you